Hey people, so I am revisiting some of my old um, setups given that we've had a lot of patches and stuff has changed. The one I am revisiting at the moment is um, well, the basis of my cranes and all kind of stuff basically are a wheel cart on uh, rails. Uh, I used to have to use gravity generators and stuff to make it move because it was a pain to use the wheels, but given that we've got access to action bar stuff right now, we can simply make shortcuts for on off and reverse, forward, etc. I might remake my old cranes as well with this because I think they like to be useful. Not that they were totally useless before, but I think with this they would be useful enough to actually use them as opposed to just flying stuff everywhere um, so yeah it works pretty well, we still have some issues with corners and stuff because they compress as you can see um, but it works anyhow uh, what I'm also going to do in this video when I get back up there I'm going to delete this card and made it from make it from the bottom up in case anyone has uh, issues understanding the design and logic behind it. Um, so yeah, I'll be making it from scratch and explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing on the way as best I can. So yeah, that is basically what this video is going to be about. I like wheels. I wish we had some proper tracks, but yeah. Also notice that it will slide on very very slowly until it hits something for some weird reason. And that is no matter what you set braking talk to, I don't really get it. But yeah, anyhow, let's get on with this. So let's just delete this and this was just a stop block. Right, so I am going to be making, uh, well, the same card as was on the track, but it's basically the simplest card I can think of that'll actually run on the track without bouncing around. So, first off, let's make our chassis, make sure we stand still, which is going to be a little T. Well, technically a capital T, but whatever. Um, Yes, that is our chassis. Now, for placing the rotors, and this is kind of important, not really, you can do it without, but it just makes everything easier. You want to place, the rotors are going to be going two different directions, like the one on this side is going to be rotating opposite, the opposite way of the one on this side if you want it to go in one direction. So you want to place all of the ones that go in the same direction uh, like we take the first five that are going in the same direction and then we take the next five because that's so much easier to uh, control in the control panel. I'll explain what I mean uh, once I've come that far. So we are going to start out with... we can't actually do that because um, some are going to be placed here so let's just place another block there. go, we got the first five placed, and now we can just place the other five. And there we go. Wheels on, and we basically got our little cart ready. Just needs a reactor, and it's ready to roll. Uh, in case you don't understand what these different wheels are placed, why these different wheels are placed the way they are, uh, basically the top ones here is from keeping the car from being able to go down. The bottom one is from the car from able to from being able to go up, and these four placed on each end is from keeping it from yawing and bouncing a uh, passing chassis into the side of the tracks. 
Um, yeah, that's basically it for the chest. You now I just need some controls. I'm going to remove that again actually to make it look like the original one. And that's our card. Uh, as I've s shown in my previous videos, which still count, uh, is the way that I put things onto tracks. I basically made a r make a rut on them and place some thrusters and a gyro to fly them over to the tracks. And here we go. Um, now I'm going to test the wheels first. Do not test your wheels before you're done uh, putting stuff on because it'll float away due to the inertia of the wheels. Now hopefully if I have placed them in the right order I should be able to just do it like this instead of having to find out which are uh, where. Um, just make two sets. I'm making two sets because as I mentioned before they're going in each of their directions to make the car go in any one direction. Um, and I'm making a third set which is all sets because I am going to be using this in the control in the actual action bar to reverse direction and turning them on and off. But now I should be able to set let's see set the first set to five RPM and then the second set opposite to minus five. They should all be working on moving the car in the same direction, and it seems they are. Superb. And I should then be able to take all sets down here and say top blocks on and off, and reverse, and I can use that to reverse the entire movement of the cars. Now to put them on. Oh, I'm not doing very well at this. There we go. Also a major improvement from the old. I can actually get them to pull themselves on after they've got contact, where I had to put a lot of engines on them in the olden days to push them on forcefully. And I didn't set braking torque, so they will kind of mess up when I stop. Let's just set some high number here. There we go. And let's just get rid of that. And let's go in and set up the RPMs a bit. Let's try 20. I was pulling 15 in the start of the video, but let's see if we can do 20 without breaking stuff. Yes, superb. Ah, no problem at all. But there you go. That is basically how I construct any wheeled. Um, wheel the uh, track bone vehicle, it's just a matter of scaling them up or down depending on what you want to do. Uh, and adding support uh, for cranes and stuff depending on which direction you are pulling and pushing from. So yeah, that is all I've got for now. Uh, thank you for watching, I hope it was useful and as always if you have any questions regarding this video or special needs in general feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer and help. So yeah, see ya.